Good morning vlog. Today is Tuesday. It is the second week of block three now. Last time you guys saw me, it was exam week of block two. It's been a little bit, um, and we're already into our biochemistry and GI block. Things haven't been too bad so far, but today we have Tuesday seminar, um, and then we have a couple asynchronous lectures to watch. Um, I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna make some coffee and then get ready for the day. So we're into block three now, but you're probably wondering how block two exams went. Um, and we don't have results for our block two SSEQs yet, which were the extended response questions related to endocrine and male and female repro. But we did get our block seven exam back, which was related to uh, GARLA, which is gross anatomy, radiology and living anatomy, and histopath, and we passed. So good news for that, but we're still waiting on how we did on the block two SSEQs. Good morning, Meha. I really no. like your scarf. Oh, you look so cozy. I tried You're to back. wear 10 layers. <laughs> I'm not that cold. It's so good morning. Hi, good morning. My only thought was like good morning. Ago. Good morning. <laughs> good morning to my sandwich. Where is your jacket, sir? I'm hidden in plain sight. <laughs> Hi, Rishi. Hi. How was Tuesday seminar? It was good. Today we talked about structural competency, so racism in the systems and healthcare. Um, our facilitator had a lot to share. She's a black woman and who's in family medicine, so she's had her like fair share of experiences that she's had to learn from. Um, so she gave us kind of a lot of pearls of wisdom. Um, wisdom, I can't talk today. Ooh, one of the biggest ones was like, as physicians, you have more power than you think. So like, even if you can't like move someone from one house into another, you might have more knowledge and resources and like, you know, networking capital that you can share with them um, to improve their condition or like to kind of help their mm -hmm. circumstances. Um, so I think that was very empowering to hear, especially when you kind of hear about like, oh, well, this has been 300 years in the making. Like, what can I do? Um, yeah, so that's my table. So like Arushi said, the Tuesday seminar topic today was structural competence. And I think my biggest takeaway was that there's just a lot that I don't know about inherent racism that exists in medicine. For example, there's a correction factor that is used to calculate filtration rate in the kidney, and that was actually putting African-American patients lower down on transplant lists for kidney transplants. So there's just a lot of surprising things that you just never kind of think about and stuff that isn't really taught in schools. Um, and there is a lot of uh, work to be done in terms of working towards equality. Um, but being knowledgeable about all these things is important and, you know, uh, without knowledge, we can't really enact change as physicians. So, I'm gonna get some studying done now and see you guys there. Where are we right now, Mr. President? Um, we're in we're in room 113. <laughs> we're here for the Dean's Council meeting, um, which is a lot of student representatives who are on the board um, and faculty, including deans. And we will They're be not here presenting yet. them information about things that we're working on. Woo! Hello, say. Keith. Hello, vlog. Is this, this is a big break? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Wait, you, tell, tell us your position. My pos oh, my position, yeah. I'm social chair, awesome. 2023 to 2024, and with Grace Harmio. Somewhere. Not pictured. <laughs> Jumangi, how was Garla? Garla was great. We did um, abdomen stuff, and we did. We looked at the liver, 
I finally figured out how to percuss. Ayush and I finished all 11 air taps, so big win today. Woo! Wait, what's the secret to percussing? You gotta, you gotta spread out your fingers, and if this is the body, you had, you gotta have like kind of hanging off, and then yeah. hear that? That's it. Let me try. Here's my percussing skills. Spread yes. the fingers out. Amazing. Well that was not good. <laughs> Lunch update, food is medicine. It was a bed of spinach with rice, some dal, ooh, I put some baked veggies in it, and chickpeas. The baked veggies included beets and sweet potatoes and onions. What is dal? It is Lentils. the- Lentils. Lentil, yeah. It was so good. It sounds really yummy. Plant-based, okay. So we have leftovers from Friendsgiving for lunch, even though we were supposed to have free Chipotle, but we have- oh, you did it? The food was forgotten, but not my fault. Okay, so we have cornbread casserole, which Who's I made. She? This is a turkey slider that Andrew made. And this is a Palestinian chicken recipe that wow. Michael made. So it's very yummy. Um, go Can ahead, I, ah! try a piece of that cornbread casserole. Is this Jotica's This is vegan recipe? and my roommate's recipe. Jotica's? No, yes. Immediately yes. <laughs> Okay, welcome Shivni. Hey. We are gonna do one of your Anki cards. This is and it's scary. gonna be random, completely random. Completely we don't know random. what's gonna pop up. It's been so long since I've done these. If you look at my heat map, do you see <laughs> So gross. Look at that. Okay, let's study now. What is the inheritance of I don't even know this one. This isn't fun when I don't know. Multiple <laughs> syndromes. Oh my god, what do you think it is? I think it's autosomal. Um, I think it's autosomal dominant. Oh! Yeah. So smart. <laughs> it's one of my cards. Ooh, blank is an inhibitor of complex three of the electron transport chain. Let me get an answer too. Is it? I think I have one. I think I have one too. What is yours? Cyanide. Has yeah, cyanide. yeah, yeah. It has to be cyanide. What? <laughs> what is this? You have to like. What's the me? answer? Never mind. Antimycin A. Cyanide definitely is the correct Let's answer too, though. Actually, should we check? Yeah. Mycin? Let's fact check. M Y O S I N. Um, Antimycin. Oh, mycin. Yeah. Which complex? Ah, it's complex four. That's exciting. So obviously, our block just started, and we don't know anything. <laughs> All right, so it's three o'clock now. We just spent a couple hours in this IQ room after lunch. I was going through some Anki and kind of consolidating my notes. Shivangi was watching the amino acid lecture that I watched earlier, and now we're gonna go for a change of scenery and keep working. So I have Horizons at five. Do you have anything today? I have practice at seven for Dakar. Dakar for practice. Next week's gonna be crazy, guys. I'm gonna take you along for a little bit of it, um, but trying to get work done so that we don't have anything to do next week because we have dress rehearsals for our med school musical, Doc Opera. Hola. Hola. How was your Spanish elective? Uh, it was great. I heard you had to tell a patient that they had diabetes, but in Spanish. Yes. I can barely do that I in did English. not know that. I thought I was taking in a new patient and I walked in and he went, I have diabetes, don't I? <laughs> and I thought I was supposed to take an HPI. So, which was what I was told. <laughs> so I did both.
All right, guys, so Horizon's just ended. It's about 7.15 now, and we're on the way to the gym to go hit a quick lift. But the mentoring session went super well. Um, today's topic was um, careers in healthcare. So we had a bunch of resident physicians come and talk to us about res residency and what life is like right now at this stage of the process. And then we also had some of our fellow students talk about um, what they did in their gap year. So things like uh, being a medical assistant, being an EMT, and you know what that kind of looks like. So super cool. Um, one of my favorite parts about Horizons is that there's mentorship at basically every level. So we have high schoolers, undergrad students, obviously med students, and today resident physicians. So I felt like you know the high schoolers could talk to the undergrad students, the med students, and the residents, and see what people are like and you know what life is like at every stage of the training process. So um, I really appreciate that. Um, love going to Horizons, and now we're headed to the gym. We have a nice pull day coming up, so. See you guys there. You guys are probably also wondering what happened to going to the gym at 5.30 a.m., what happened to doing an ice bath every morning. Um, and honestly, things just kind of change. Um, it's just this beginning of block three, so I don't really feel the need to go to the gym really early in the morning because there's not really that much I have to do throughout the day. So I feel like I have the time after class to go to the gym and in terms of the ice bath. Um, my ice bath actually just broke and I just got my replacement. So those will be starting up soon, don't worry. Just got to figure out how to handle this like freezing weather, and whether or not it'll kind of freeze over overnight. But we're headed to the gym, gonna hit a pull day and see you guys in there. Hi, Bran. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just got home, took a shower, made my protein shake with my creatine, and we actually just learned about how creatine is used by the body to store more energy, and that energy can be used during exercise, so I've been trying to be more consistent with that. Um, but it's about nine o'clock now, I'm gonna wind down for the night, call Bran again, and watch some TV. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.